Hi there, welcome once again to the Ducoscopy TV studio. I'm Ben Jones. Alongside me is Alexander Troller from La Lieve, here to discuss a new consultation being discussed by the Swiss Federal Council. Alexander, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Now, this consultation that is being discussed by the Swiss Federal Council would see the implementation of the Federal Financial Services Act and the Financial Institutions Act. Can you begin by outlining what both of these would involve? Thank you. I think we are talking about, to a certain extent, a big bang in the Swiss uh, asset management industry here. The uh, emphasis is put on client protection by levelling the playing field between banks on the one hand and asset managers. In between them, you have different actors like fund managers, securities houses, qualified asset managers, but all of them will, and this is the novelty, be subject to the same kind of regulations, at least as far as harboring, managing clients is concerned and uh, following up on individual clients. Okay, now why is this being proposed? Are there certain issues that are trying to be fixed? What you see often, and here I'm talking as a lawyer, when you are involved in asset management disputes or uh, litigation with uh, um, customers unhappy about uh, their bankers or asset managers is that while a bank or an asset manager may have followed the rules as they are set down in law, they also will not always have performed what I would call the adequacy and suitability test in relation to the individual clients. And that's one of the key issues that is being addressed by the new legislation now under consultation. We um, also will have a distinction between private and um, institutional clients. Uh, the private clients may opt out from the increased level of protection that they will be uh, granted and institutional clients may conversely opt into this uh, additional protection. So that's also, that's also a manner to better organize the industry uh, as a whole. Then the um, transparency also comes out big in this uh, new project. Typically conflicts of interest will have to be disclosed uh, clearer than they have been um, uh, done so far in the sense that, um, and this is an enactment of what is already uh, Swiss uh, court law, um, retrocessions paid by uh, asset managers to introducers uh, or by banks to asset managers will still be allowed provided that a customer is being informed of the nature of the retrocession being paid and of the magnitude so that uh, he or she has an idea of how much of what he is being charged is being paid back to a third party. Can you go into a bit more detail about how this will affect asset managers in Switzerland? There will be certainly an additional pressure on cost. Uh, financial establishments will be under a duty to optimize the costs that they charge to their clients. So there will be of course the additional regulatory impact of having to follow these rules and uh, in this respect, the novelty for individual asset managers or independent asset managers uh, is that they will from now on be subject to regulation and registration, which was not the case, is not the case nowadays in Switzerland, uh, and in which Switzerland is quite an exception if you compare it to the rest of the world. So, of course, for individual players, this may entail additional costs that they didn't have to face uh, so far. And it's also probably in, the, in, the, in their conduct, daily conduct, the way they, they handle and assist their clients that they will have to adjust. Now, bankers will tell you that it was about time that individual asset managers um, were to register and be um, subject to a certain surveillance. Individual asset managers will likely respond that they always had been performing the adequacy and uh, suitability tests on their clients because they will claim they know their clients better, whereas big banks will typically have sold products which were not always adapted to the individual client in question. One last uh, big novelty or um, is the introduction of a dedicated dispute management mechanism. 
most actors will have to um, sign to industry regulations that provide for compulsory attempt at mediation in the event of a, a dispute between a customer and uh, a financial establishment, be it a bank or um, uh, an external asset manager, fund manager or security house. A permanent arbitral tribunal will be instituted, composed of industry specialists, which should hopefully accelerate and optimize the settlement of disputes. The, the access to the Swiss court system has often uh, been perceived as um, excessively onerous for, in particular, individual clients. And here we will also see changes with a litigation costs fund that will be set up and funded by the industry itself. And that should allow a significant number of smaller plaintiffs for claims not in excess of 1 million Swiss franc to have the cost of their lawsuit being paid by the fund itself, as opposed to uh, having to face the uphill struggle of first demonstrate their case, pay their lawyer, um, go to court, sue the bank or sue the asset manager. So here also um, the, 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 the field is being uh, leveled to render access to justice easier for individual plaintiffs, as long as the claim is not hopeless or completely frivolous. Um, banks will also be under an increased duty to um, disclose documents that are being requested by clients. We still see cases where when faced with, uh, uh, with complaints by clients, banks or asset managers will be dragging their feet in uh, disclosing the documents that would allow a customer to bring his case to court or at least to demonstrate the possible wrongdoings that he has been subjected to. So these in essence are the, uh, the, the key introductions of this uh, new piece of uh, legislation now being debated. And in terms of tax, will this change anything? Yes, here the big novelty is that banks and asset managers will from now on be under a duty to ascertain their clients' tax compliance, also in relation to their domestic tax authorities when they live abroad. In other words, a bank or an asset manager will have to verify if a client is, appears to be reporting the, uh, the relevant account to his tax authorities and in the event there is a high risk that this account would not be reported, then the bank or the asset manager may not accept the relevant client or will have to stop entertaining or accepting or servicing this client. So this too is, a, is quite a change for the Swiss banking and asset management industry. Fantastic. Alexander, once again, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. And thank you for watching. Do make sure you keep clicking back to Dukoscopy TV as we bring you plenty more updates and exclusive interviews. Bye for now.